Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today we're gonna learn how to make apple pie. And just like this book says, apple pie is easy to make as long as you have all the ingredients. But if you don't, if you have to go and find the best of all the different types of ingredients it takes to make apple pie, it becomes not so easy but you might just see the world. <laughs> so let's read this book, How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World. It is by Marjorie Priceman. Here we go. Making an apple pie is really very easy. First, get all the ingredients at the market. Mix them well, bake, and serve. Unless, of course, the market is closed. In that case, go home and pack a suitcase. Take your shopping list and some walking shoes. Then catch a steamship bound for Europe. Use the six days on board to brush up on your Italian. If you time it right, you'll arrive in Italy at harvest time. Find a farm deep in the countryside, gather some superb semolina wheat, an armful or two will do. Then hop on a train to France and locate a chicken. French chickens lay elegant eggs, and you want only the finest ingredients for your pie. Coax the chicken to give you an egg, better yet, Bring the chicken with you. There's less chance for breaking the egg that way. Get to Sri Lanka any way you can. You can't miss it. Sri Lanka is a pear-shaped island in the Indian Ocean. The best cinnamon in the world is made there from the bark of the na native Kurundu tree. So go directly to the rainforest, find a Kurundu tree and peel off some bark. If a leopard is napping beneath the tree, be very quiet. Hitch a ride to England. Make the acquaintance of a cow. You'll know she's an English cow for her good manners and a charming accent. Ask if you can borrow a cup or two of milk. Even better, bring the whole cow with you for the freshest possible results. Stow away on a banana boat headed for Jamaica. On your way there, you can pick up some salt. Fill a jar with salty seawater. When the boat docks in Jamaica, walk to the nearest sugar plantation. Introduce yourself to everyone. Tell them about the pie you're making. Then go into the fields and cut a few stalks of sugarcane. Better fly home. You don't want those ingredients to spoil. Wait a minute. Are you forgetting something? What about the apples? Have the pilot drop you off in Vermont. You won't have to go far to find an apple orchard. Pick eight rosy apples from the top of the tree. Give one to the chicken, one to the cow, and eat one yourself. That leaves five for the pie, then hurry home. Now all you have to do is mill the flour in the wheat into flour. Grind the corundu bark into cinnamon. Evaporate the seawater from the salt. Boil the sugar cane. Persuade the chicken to lay an egg. Milk the cow. Turn the milk into butter. Slice the apples. Mix the ingredients. And bake the pie. While the pie is cooling, invite some friends over to share it with you. Remember that apple pie is delicious, topped with vanilla ice cream, which you can get at the market. But if the market happens to be closed, you can eat it plain. <laughs> or with cheddar cheese, that's how my grandpa always ate it. All right, friends, there is a wonderful recipe for apple pie. If you decide to make it yourself, I don't think you'll have to go all over the world to find those ingredients. But if you do, I hope you have a fun time doing it. 
Thank you so much for reading with me about apple pie today, friends. I hope you thought you, I hope you learned something new. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> All right, friends, bye. Thanks for reading with me.